Good morning, it's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude business briefing for Tuesday, July 21st, 2020. And today I wanna to talk about gratitude in the business world and specifically today leading versus managing and setting the best example. So it was interesting, they did a survey many, many years ago what, about what people want in a job. And they went through and listed things like uh, job security, wages, promotions, benefits, and all sorts of different things. And about 20 or 30 years ago, the top three items that they came up with is number three was being in on the know. So having that inside track to the knowledge in the company and so forth. Number two was help with personal problems and anything that related to something outside of work and how your company reacted to that for you. And the runaway number one feeling was that people wanted in a job way back when was appreciation and recognition. So the appreciation and recognition has continued to be an important factor. People know that if they're recognized, they're, they're paid, they're given bonuses, they're given a card, a note, uh, public recognition, all those types of things are important. But it was interesting to note they did the same survey here a couple years ago, I think it was 2018. And appreciation, recognition, help with it being in on the know, help with personal problems, all those things are still on the list, but they dropped down quite a bit. And the number three most important thing that people wanted in a job now more recently was responsibilities, number three. Number two was goals, very specific goals about where they were and where they were and where they were going. But this is what was really interesting. The new number one placeholder, if you will, is purpose. People were really convinced they want to know what is their purpose? What is my, my meaning for this job? What am I contributing? How am I helping society? And I think that that was so interesting how appreciation recognition recognition used to be number one and now it's really about purpose. So to know how your employees, to give them a purpose, to give them goals and responsibilities will really get a better experience for them. I think also the golden rule, treat people as you would like to be treated is also something that always is into play. I've often felt that managing people and raising children require the same basic number one skill, and that is setting a good example. It's pretty hard to go, I don't wanna see you smoking, but I'm puffing away type of thing. So, and I also think how you ask somebody what to do for you, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna get a more effective response if you say, will you do me a favor when you get a minute? Gosh when you have a second, will you take care of this? Thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it. And making sure you're asking people and not telling them there's a huge difference. And as a result of this, when you plug in gratitude and you plug in good understandings of how people work and how they respond, understanding their purpose, their goals, their responsibilities, and still appreciation and recognition is part of it. You will get higher retention rates, you get lower turnover, you'll get a lot more engagement and productivity. And I've also noticed too, in my experience, there's less sick outs, less absenteeism and so forth. So embracing and sharing gratitude will get the most out of your employees, especially if you show them how much you care. So that's the gratitude business briefing for today. Tune in tomorrow for our next briefing and have a grateful day. And remember, be grateful and never quit.